Well, I don't know if I lost you and how much I lost, so I'm going to back up a little bit. I put three eggs and a whole banana. I'm sorry, two eggs. I put two eggs and a whole banana and a dash of cinnamon in my Hamilton Beach blender. And I nuked it up a little bit, blended it so it's ready to go. I'm going to make my banana chihuahua. And it's just like the banana pancake I made, only I'm going to put it in the mini waffle maker. I already put some olive oil spray. I'm using this spray so it doesn't stick on the mini waffle maker, which is um, made by Dash. And I showed you that in an unboxing. The cinnamon, the Dash of cinnamon. And it, this particular recipe is a little bit different than the one I made because I didn't use cheese. That's why it's called a chow waffle because of the cheese, CH for cheese. So I'm going to use a uh, low moisture mozzarella cheese because it melts really good. As soon as the light goes off on this waffle maker, that means it's ready to go. I also am going to use butter with olive oil and sea salt. That's what I buy. It's better for you. It's Land Lakes Real Butter to put on top of my banana waffle. No syrup. For those of you on keto, it's totally keto because you get to eat butter on your keto. And zero carbs in this butter. Okay? Zero carbs in this Land Lakes Butter with olive oil and sea salt. And then we're using the two eggs and the mozzarella cheese has one gram of carbs in it and each serving is a one-fourth of a cup so you get one carb in a one-fourth of a cup and of course the banana does have carbs in it so it's not totally keto because it does have carbs in it I'm not sure how many carbs are in a banana. I could look it up for you later and let you know. But if you're following Whole30, which is the meal plan that I try to stay with, and it's only really for 30 days and then you introduce things back into your system, but the Whole30, you can have banana. You can have natural sugars. And I know on keto you cannot. So first we sprinkle a little bit of cheese. So it's going to be less than one gram of cheese in there. Put that cheese all over. And then we're going to put a little more cheese on the top. Let's see what happens when we close it. Here we go. This is my first time. I did not even try it before I before I put it on video. So what you see is my first attempt. I love my propane generator. I don't have to carry around gasoline. Okay, let's see. It looks pretty good. It is. It isn't as crisp as the other um, keto waffles that I've seen made, and I don't know. Maybe is that because of the banana? I'm not sure. Look, maybe the second one will be better. Just need a little bit more cheese, and then we'll pour some. And then put a little bit. I'm gonna try putting the cheese on after I cook it for a bit. I'm gonna cook it for a little bit. In the meantime, I'm gonna take and put a little butter on this one here while it's still hot. Maybe I put too much butter on there. Oh, it smells delicious. So I'm gonna try this. Oh, look at that. Oh, it looks beautiful. And now I'm gonna put the cheese on after the fact, and we'll see how that does. That makes it look crispier. Here we go.
Yum, yum. It smells good. I think I might like this a little better than the um, pancakes. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? Let's make one more. Yes, much better. Look at the consistency is much better. I think that's what I would do is, see, look at that. We'll put a little butter on there. Banana chihuahua. Not keto. Oh, looks good. Look at that. Dripping in butter. I like a lot of butter. Mmm. very very good you know because usually I use but one banana into one egg but I didn't want to choose much. I could have used a little bit more banana yum yum my hair is a mess sorry very good so if you want to make a chihuahua with banana in the little in the little waffle maker, it turns out great. It tastes just as good. Mhm. Mm a little bit more banana. Mhm. Mm or you could slice some banana right on the top. That sounds good, doesn't it? Put some sliced banana on the top. Oh, yum! That would be good. So, um. Banana is a good source of potassium. Always worked for me. I'll just put a little bit and I'll bag this one for later. Oh, delicious. If you like bananas. Mm. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Very, very good. I hope you liked my recipe. Stay tuned for more. I put that other half of the banana. You know I'm coming back here, but I put that other half of the banana that I opened up and was eating. Mm -hmm. I put that in my mixture and remixed it. Okay, we'll see how that turns out. But sometimes when people show you their videos, they don't show you exactly everything and how they do it. Because if you just stick the cheese in the batter, what difference is it then having the cheese on the bottom? And so what makes it crispy on the top? I would think putting the cheese on there like now would make it more crispy. Don't you? But I don't have a lot of space, so this is perfect size for me. Perfect size for an RV or perfect size for a college dorm. You guys and gals in college. Because I guarantee you, gain, when you go to college, I worked at a university, you gain 15 pounds because you're eating all that cereal and all that stuff in the meal room when you buy the meal package. Oh, look at that nice. Oh, the bottom is nice and crispy. Wait until you see how crispy this is. I'm going to flip it over. Look at that. Look how crispy that is. It's not burnt. It's brown. It's crispy. Here we go. Let's see how this one is. This taste test. Mmm. Crunchy. Oh, much better with more banana. Well, I'm going to use up my batter. Have a great one. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you every day. And I can't wait to get back on the road. Oh, by the way, if you watched my video, I got released from jury duty. So, I just have to move out of my apartment and I'm back on the road. Everybody have a great week. Mwah!